Smoking is more popular than religion, more addictive than sex, and more deadly than war. Like most people, you already know that smoking is dangerous for your health. But do you really understand just how harmful smoking is? In the Philippines, 28% of the adult population ages 15 and above smoke tobacco. Almost half of men, or 48%, and 9% of women smoke. Among youth ages 13 to 15, 17.5% smoke cigarettes, 23% of the boys, and 12% of the girls. 8% currently use tobacco products other than cigarettes, 8% of the boys, and 7% of the girls. Health consequences of smoking has conservatively estimated to kill over 73,000 Filipinos each year. Among youth ages 13 to 15, 55% are exposed to secondhand smoke at home and 65% exposed to secondhand smoke in public places. Almost 40% of adults are exposed to secondhand smoke in their homes and 37% of workers are exposed to secondhand smoke at the workplace. Tobacco contains nicotine, a highly addictive drug that makes it difficult for smokers to kick the habit. Tobacco products also contain many poisonous and harmful substances that cause diseases and premature death. Most people don't know that the odds of getting sick as a result of smoking are really that bad. But when you do the numbers, that is how they come out. For many people, truly understanding the very real dangers associated with smoking becomes the motivating factor that helps them to quit. Although it can be a very difficult habit to break, Smoking is ultimately a choice. It is your responsibility to choose whether or not you will continue to smoke. This documentary will enlighten us to know what are the things that we should do to save our lives. Causes of Smoking Most people start to smoke during their teens and are addicted by the time they reach adulthood. The causes can be peer pressure, lack of maturity, experimentation, stress, and many others. As of 2009, 17.3 Filipinos smoke. This is according to the Global Adult Tobacco Survey or GUTS. But the question that everyone is curious is why do people get addicted to smoking? peer pressure siya eh. Ano, parang sinabi, bakit hindi mo ito itry, gano'n. Tapos yun, tinry ko. Wala lang, try lang mo muna, high school. Ano lang, kids lang. Tapos yun, nagbibisa na. Sunod-sunod. Pag bukas, bumili na. Hanggang sana-sana na. Parang na-high ka. Parang nakaminahihilo na may tama yan. Parang normal. Sa una, ano, ano siya, para siyang mapakit sa lalamunan. Pero nung katagalan, naging normal na. Parang, wala lang, nagkikendi ka lang. Nicotine reached the brain after a few seconds, but wears off easily. Which is why smokers light up another stick again and again. Because of this, smokers become more dependent on nicotine physically and psychologically, which makes it harder for them to quit. Oh, oh, alam ko. Ang cancer yung worst na alam ko. Oh, marami naman talaga nagkakasakit sa panigilan. Diseases due to smoking. An example of diseases due to smoking are the following. First, is the ever famous cancer. About 20 to 30 percent of deaths due to cancer in Australia is caused by smoking. Second is heart disease. Around a third of all cases of heart disease in those under 65 years are due to smoking. Third is chronic bronchitis. A recurring cough together with frequent and increased phlegm, it occurs in about half of all heavy smokers. Next is stroke. Smokers under 65 years are around three times more likely to have a stroke than non-smokers of the same age. 
abdominal aortic aneurysm, the bursting of the lower part of the aorta leading from the heart that often leads to sudden death. Worsening asthma. Smokers with asthma have poorer asthma control, faster decline in lung function, more error inflammation, and get less benefit from some asthma medications compared to non-smokers with asthma and many more. Other diseases are peptic ulcer disease or simply known as stomach ulcer, lower fertility in women, low bone density, and problems during pregnancy and childbirth. Effects of smoking to the environment Smoking does not only damage one's health, it has an even greater impact on the environment. A single cigarette weighs less than a gram and emits about 14 milligrams of particulate matter or PM2.5, an indicator for air pollution. Cigarettes are also causes of land and water pollution. In the Philippines, cigarette butts are basically everywhere. On the roads, sidewalks, parking lots, and even on plant pots. They are also found on beaches and river banks wherein they cause the death of marine creatures and the contamination of our water resources. Cigarettes are made from dried leaves of tobacco, and to dry tobacco, wood is used in most countries. In order to parch one hectare of tobacco, one hectare of forest should be used. So, we can infer that the production of cigarettes is one of the leading causes of deforestation in the whole world. You think environmental degradation starts there? Well think again. It actually begins in the planting of tobacco itself. Tobacco is a very fragile plant, which needs a lot of pesticides and herbicides for it to grow. Most of these pesticides have chemicals that enter the atmosphere and deplete the ozone layer. These chemicals also tend to leach into the groundwater, poisoning our water supply and killing wildlife. Solutions to these problems what is the government doing in order to promote a healthful environment? First is the Republic Act No. 9211, also known as the Tobacco Regulation Act of 2003. One of the provisions of this act is that it prohibits smoking in public places such as playgrounds, food preparation areas, hotels, schools, and others. It is also banned to sell cigarettes 100 meters from any point away the perimeter of a school, public playground, or any other facilities frequented particularly by minors. Under this act, it also states that it is unlawful for a minor to purchase, sell, or utilize cigarette. Lastly, this act mandates that the producers put health warnings such as government warning, cigarettes are addictive. Second is Republic Act No. 10351. This is an act restructuring the excise tax on alcohol and tobacco products of RA No. 8424, also known as the National Internal Revenue Code of 1997. Excise tax is a tax paid to discourage the consumption or use of certain products that ruin the health or corrupt the morals of the common people. It is an addition to the 12% value-added tax. The main objective of these laws is, of course, to promote a healthful environment. However, they are almost useless if the smokers themselves are not willing to quit smoking. Remember, Stopping smoking starts from the personal level. Ah, uh, ngayon, ngayon kasi, nag-stop na ako. Parang, hindi na ako masyadong nag-smoke. Ano na lang siya, for, limbawa, nasa-stress ka sa school, ngayon, yun na lang. Kasi, nag-cheerme niya ako eh. So, nakakahingal siya. Pag, limbawa, bago ang bang yung sigala sa training ka, nakakahingal siya. Wala ka sa ngayon, wala pa naman. Masarap kasi. <laughs> Nicotine, which is what you usually get when you smoke cigarettes, um, reaches the brain in about se 7 seconds after you inhale your first puff. So what nicotine does in your brain is that it binds to your dopamine receptors, which stimulates your pleasure center. So when we have uh, stimulation of the dopamine centers or dopamine receptors, you have a feeling of anxiety, you have ability to concentrate easily, 
you have increased attentiveness, you have a feeling of being uh, very good, a quote unquote. Now, it also binds to your uh, locus ceruleus nuclei, which is also um, which is also involved in our being able to concentrate easily. So that students uh, usually uh, take the comfort of cigarettes, especially when studying, because it allows them to concentrate more easily. Uh, you also have the ability to, seeming ability to learn fast what concepts you are studying when you are smoking because of these effects of uh, nicotine in the brain. So nicotine use or substance use is now classified as an addiction. When we say it's an addiction, even if you know the health hazards of smoking, you still continue uh, smoking because you have uh, psychological and physiologic dependence. Meaning that once you turn away, once you discontinue smoking, you suffer from the adverse, adverse uh, effects of not smoking or not being able to get uh, nicotine, not being able to get the pleasure and satiety that you would normally get with nicotine. So that is very hard to quit smoking because when you discontinue the nicotine use or the uh, smoking use, you will want to still get the, the, the pleasure and satiety and the increased concentration that you would normally get when you are smoking cigarettes. Uh, when you constantly smoke, meaning you usually, you continually smoke cigarettes over an extended period of time, you develop upregulation of your dopamine receptors. So what happens is that when before you would normally require, say, let's say, five sticks of cigarettes to experience pleasure and satiety, when you have upregulation of receptors, you have tolerance to the effect of nicotine, that you will require more number of cigarettes for you to experience the same effect when you smoke constantly. So what do you get when you stop smoking? The benefits of quitting smoking comes right away. Food and drinks will taste a whole lot better, and saving that 50 pesos of cigarette per day will be 20,000 pesos in a year. You will be more approachable since you will smell fresh, and you will be able to have lots of new friends. It is also one way of protecting our loved ones. The smoke they inhale coming from you might be the cause of their death. And of course, vital signs will improve over time. After 8 hours, carbon monoxide in the bloodstream returns to normal. The effect is you will feel less stressed and you will feel good. After one month, there will be whiter teeth and skin will improve back to normal. After three to nine months, cough and breathing problems will decrease because lung function increases by 10%. After one year, the risk of a heart attack, stroke, and coronary heart disease has dropped to less than half to that of a non-smoker. After 10 years, the risk of lung cancer reduces to half compared to that of a non-smoker, and risk of stroke will be the same to that of a non-smoker. After 15 years, risk of cardiovascular diseases will be of the same level with those who never smoke. And after 20 years, risk of lung cancer is the same to a non-smoker. It is like as if you never smoke, so don't waste any more time smoking. Quit now and get control of your life once again. Trade-offs of solutions. There are a lot of other solutions that can help smokers to lessen or stop them from using cigarettes. It ranges from products such as chewing gums to loss. But no matter how many solutions there are to stop people from smoking cigarettes, it is not an assurance that the problem regarding smoking can be resolved. This is because it is as polarized as North and South. Para sa akin, hindi naman. Dahil kasi, choice naman nila yun eh. We're all entitled to our choices. 
lalo na pag barkada yung VOC, syempre hindi mo naman pwede kita po siya. Syempre din mo rin siya na kaibigan pa rin. So hindi mo po ba? Ganun pa rin. Uh, accept na lang po. Okay, ganun po siya. Okay lang kung saan siya nasasaya. Kung sa tingin ko, ako okay lang yun. Kasi, ano naman eh, hanggang di ka nakakasagabal sa ibang tao. Kasi ang pag-iyos ni Lulugan naman. There are a lot of arguments regarding smoking. The first argument is health issue. Smoking is known to cause harm to other individuals through second-hand or even third-hand smoke. But some smokers believe that smoking won't affect others. The second argument is because of the freedom we have. We are free to decide whether or not we are going to smoke despite of all the complaints against it. But of course, the solutions made can help lessen the population of smokers. An example of the solution given are the laws created by the government. But even though there are laws passed, it seems that these are not implemented properly because only a few people know it and follow it. Yes, okay. Hindi, hindi pa. Wala naman. Wala ko. Basta nagsisiyosin naman ako. We should always remember that there is no best solution to smoking. We should keep in mind that quitting starts at the personal level. Lastly, we should learn the value of respect. If you are a smoker, you should respect the decision and views of other people regarding smoking. Individual matters. Our plan of action. Although there is no assurance that this will have an effect to the smoking community, we hope to try to reduce smokers through sharing this documentary in social media. In order to reduce, stop, or prevent the number of smokers from growing, we can discourage our friends and acquaintances from trying it out. Warning them about the possible effects and the hazards it may bring may dissuade them. We will start with ourselves. We will never try smoking just to look cool, fit in, cope up with stress, or whatever reason there may be. <laughs> 